do you remember your first Final Four and you, like, you, can you feel what it would be like for them? Yeah, I remember my first Final Four um, in Berlin. Uh, it was, I was a lot anxious, you know, mm -hmm. but still ready to play. So is it something you feel you can take advantage of or you only worry about yourself? Um, it depends on the player. It depends on the person, you know. It depends on your experiences, your life experiences. I mean, I, I try to take all of that into a second. Thank you, good luck. Yeah. Bobby, you've obviously got the, all these injuries to deal with, but you're a Mr. Hart over height, so uh -huh. how do you reckon the smaller ball is going to work for Fenerbahce tomorrow? Uh, I think we'll be okay. You know, uh, we, we used to play like that, and we have a... Uh, we have experienced guys that know how to play, so I think we'll be fine. And for you, you were talking about the experience. Like this is like you know, we had another final four for Fenerbahce yourself as well. Mm -hmm. What's it going to count for tomorrow against an FS? I mean, they don't, it won't count for much if we don't come out and play like we normally play throughout the regular Euro League season. So we're going to come out and you know play hard and try to um, win. And like for you, because obviously there's going to be a lot of Fenerbahce fans in the crowd tomorrow. What's it going to mean for you guys? I mean, of course, you know, we uh, we we. we thankful that our fans are able to travel and support us on stages like this you know it, it helps a lot so uh we, we're just thankful for that and hopefully we can bring them some happiness of course last year you guys came very very close lost out in the final what would it mean to go that one extra step this year uh, of course yeah we still have this taste in our mouth from last year losing the final to madrid so uh we want to try to take care of business tomorrow to get back to that point so we'll see if we can finish it this year it's great thanks bobby